We're back, guys. We're back. I just want to say, welcome to the Crafter After Show. I'm sorry if you're having buffering issues. We are having weather, and it probably has something to do with that. We are having rain, and they say we have storms coming. It's probably something like that. So you might have to catch the replay, and I apologize for that. So we have got so much across the mile stuff, so much to show you, and I'm super excited about this one. And it's not even for me, but I cannot wait to show you guys this. It is so cute. Um, so I wonder if she'd mind if I showed her picture. She might mind. I won't because I didn't ask her. So, but I'll show us. <laughs> How are you gonna do that? I know. I like this right here. So Holly came to visit. Look, this is us in the picture in the kitchen. Holly came to visit us, and we took a picture with her and. When she was here, is she... Is on? We need to make sure that Tamitha is on for this moment. <laughs> when Holly was here, it's Holly Grayson. When she was here, she told us she was going... Look, she's a UK girl because she's, she's from Kentucky. And she told us that they were going to Hawaii. Well, Jeremy... I, I may be fixing to open a can of worms for everybody because y'all probably didn't know this. Jeremy collects golf balls and he likes them from everywhere. He wants golf balls from every state. I didn't know that either. So now when we go somewhere, we try to bring him golf balls back, right? Well, she heard us, she heard Jeremy say that and I have to show you what she sent him. But here's the card. I did not make this card. Do not be offended. <laughs> Do not be mad at May May. Oh my gosh. Look at this. She made this for Vince because he... He's a big UK uh, basketball fan, and she did this. We did not. So this is Tennessee, and it has little poop emojis on it. <laughs> it's Tamith on. I got to tell y'all, I think this is hilarious. If you have a friend that would think this is funny, everybody might not think this is funny. If you had a friend that would think this is funny, this is a cute card to do. One thing I really love what she did, though, in her letter, look how she did it. She like attached it to one side of the card so that it did this. This is brilliant. I mean, like, don't you ever go, why didn't I think of that, right? And it is so cute. She said the sweetest thing. So so she sent Jeremy golf balls. I'm going to read this and tell you. She said, uh, uh, when I was in the store, the first of, um, that first of August, I was trying, I was going to Hawaii and Jeremy mentioned he collects golf balls. I would love some from there. So even though he was clearly not a UK basketball fan, because Jeremy's not, um, he said, I, she said, I got him a three set in Maui. Look, she got him this from Maui. She said, then the next week we went to Honolulu for a week and I saw the Pearl Harbor one. So she got him the Pearl Harbor golf ball. And then she said, the crab one is from Maryland. So she was in Maryland as well. And so she got him this one that says, who you calling a crab? <laughs> That's cute. Who you calling? Who you, who you call? calling a crab? Oh my gosh, it reminds me of the day when you said, what are you talking about, Willis? <laughs> yeah. What are you talking about, Willis? We were literally having a conversation, and I said something that shocked Vince, and he went, what are you talking about, Willis? He literally said that to me. I just about lost it. It was so, funny. Thank you, Holly. And look how Holly signs her name. This is my favorite. She literally signs her name, Holly. And if you ever come to the store and you see the Holly symbol on the wall, Holly drew her symbol when she was here on Vince's signature wall in his kitchen. Yeah. Too cute. All right. I have so much over here that I've got to get out of this box. So much. But I'm going to start with this envelope. So we have an envelope -y. Somebody asked, could you explain the loyalty points? I can. Can um, Let's hold that for just a second. I have not opened this. So I don't know what all I'm working with here. Let me see. Amanda opened this and put it in here for me. Ooh, look at this. Okay, hold on. Let me see what else is in here. So who is this from? This one is from, whoop, there's a card. Look at this. Wow. Okay, we're going to we're gonna delve in deeper. This is from Andrea Ginrich. I hope I said your name right. Andrea Ginrich. And then, look at this dream catcher she made. And it says Christmas Dreams. It says, for many years I've been fascinated by the legend and lore of a dream catcher. I live just a few miles from the, oh, I'm going to mess this one up. The La Corte Orioles Band of Lake Superior Chippewa Indians for many years. Many say the dream catcher originated with the, I think it's o Oyibwe people? O Oweeb? I don't know. They are beautiful and proud people with rich traditions, a deep spirituality, and stunning, beautiful artistry. I've enclosed here a brief history of the dream catcher. May God richly bless you and yours. So did she make this dream catcher? I think she did. I don't know. She had to have. It's got a Christmas wreath, and it says Christmas dreams. Isn't that something else? So it's an ornament for the tree. 
That's so cool. I love it. It's very pretty. Thank you so much for that. Ojibwe. There we go. Ojibwe. I knew there was a way to say it. Oh, look. Let's read the card. I bet it will tell us. Wow. Wow. Is that rub and buff? I think it is on top of an embossed piece of cardstock. That's amazing. It said, yeah, an ornament for the subscriber tree, which I forgot to enclose last time. Received my Nouveau water pen, color pens. Lovely. Thanks for your prompt service. May God richly bless you. Andrea Ginrich. Oh, yeah. Okay, now I know who it is because I see her. Okay. her. I got to say this because this Gorgeous. came on at the end of the regular show. And Carla Bostic was talking about your black purse. Because it's skinnier? Because it's skinnier. And she said, black is for mourning the figure you used to have. <laughs> Maybe that's why I'm not worried about wearing anymore. Um, I'm wearing color now because I'm older and I just don't care. I'm going to wear color and not worry about it. But I do wear some black. I wear a lot of black still. Okay, Twyla asked, how do I find my May's blog? Um, MayMayMadeIt.com. On the menu bar, it'll say blog. Look at this. There you go. Look at this. This is so cool. So she made this little container and this little... Um, notepad fits right into these little slots this is so cool and it's made with chipboard i would like to make one of these i know y'all want to see it right i would like to make one of these this is this would not be hard and this would be a neat gift especially if you include it in a stationary kit i like that thank you so much andrea um put that there and put this over Carla here said now she's famous oh cool cool cool, cool. And she also collects jars of dirt from different states. Jars of dirt? Yeah. Now that's different. I like that, actually. I like different. All right, I've not seen this one either. I hope I get the card in the right place. She said she thought it was a little weird, but then Rhonda said that her, uh, I think she said it was her cousin. She said, I have a cousin who eats dirt, so it's not so weird. <laughs> hey, my papa used to say, God made dirt. Dirt won't hurt. Put it in your mouth and let it work. Yep, dipping dirt. Yep. All right, I'm looking to see if I have a card to go with this one. I don't see one. Okay, this is from Juanita Wofford. Hope I said Wofford correct. Okay, so it says, oh, look. Oh, there's stuff in here. There's stuff in here. Hold on, let me get the bubble wrap out real quick. And, oh, here's a card. I like to try to find the card first if I can. Let me sit that there so we'll know what we're looking at. I think this is just for packaging, so I can put that over there with Vinny. Just pass it to Vinny. Hand it to Vinny. Okay. Maybe the leftovers. This. We'll come to this after the card. Dear Man Man family. Oh, not this one. She told me about that. She told me yesterday. All right. Here's a map to show you where Salinas, California is and products and places of interest around me. San Jose, Gilroy, Casterville, San, Santa Cruz, Salinas, Okay, so look what she did. This is cute. She did a map of her area where she lives, and she did what's made in those areas and what they're famous for. That's cute. Very that nice. is neat to share across the miles, isn't it? That's cool. This says open here. I like how she did that. So I untape it. Yes. Untape it. This is a great way to reuse a bottle. For real, though. It's pretty cool, like gift wrap. Now I'm stuck to the tape. Okay. Um... Oh, she doesn't eat the dirt. She said she keeps it. All right, here we go. Oh, look at this. All right, this says happy. Look at that little capsule that came out. It says happy fall. It looks like a pineapple. Oh, yeah, it does look like a pineapple. Happy fall. It says, dear my man family, here's an ornament I made for your fall Thanksgiving tree. I hope you enjoy looking at it as much as I enjoy watching you craft. Congratulations on your 100,000 play button. Thank you for sharing your talent with us and for sharing your faith and having Bible study in the heart group every week. Almost every week we try. Sincerely, Juanita Wofford. P.S. The charms are a Bible for the heart group and purse for your store. Yes, Vinny, I love Mountain Dew too. <laughs> he always has a Mountain Dew on Sunday afternoon, it seems like. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. Let's see this. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. That is gorgeous. So, the purse is for our store. The Bible is for the heart group. And this has a little, it says Handmade 2017. Oh my word. There is no better way to ship this than the way she did it. That That's is awesome. brilliant. There, This bow is not flat. Do you see this? Nothing is crushed. 
Now I know she said my fall tree and I'm gonna hang this in the fall decor out there, but it's also gonna be on our Christmas tree. I don't care that it's fall color. It's incredible. Oh, it's beautiful. This is gorgeous. And you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna put it right back in here until, that is a smart way to package that, isn't it? Guys, you guys are so smart. I learn so much from you every single time, every time. That's amazing. Okay, not gonna be able to do that. Let's do that. <laughs> Can I give that to you too? So you want me to fix it? Well, just sit it over there. That's great. That was awesome. Awesome, awesome, awesome. I think I have a video on my channel showing how to make those. I'm not sure if I do, but I think I do. I have to share this with y'all because when it came in, I cry a lot when I get stuff from you guys. <laughs> this one really got me. I mean, yeah. she, it just blew my mind. So this is from my friend, Georgia Carl. And I saw a picture of this online and look at this card first. Okay. She made the card, the Mary Did You Know card, using the stamp set from Joy Claire called Mary Did You Know. I think it's called Mary Did You Know. I'm pretty sure it is. Okay. But she made the card, okay? She sent this with her friends on a Gaither cruise and had Mark Lowry, who wrote the song Mary Did You Know, sign it. And he wrote Vinny and May May and wrote Mark Lowry. And I'm pretty sure this says Bill Gaither. I'm pretty sure this is from Bill Gaither. I'm not 100% sure, but I think it is. I was blown away. Vince, too. We love Mark Lowry. I have seen him in person at least twice. At least twice. Maybe more. I love... I've never... I don't think I... Yes, Mom I did. said she will send you a Christmas one. Oh, thank you. I would love that. I think I did get to meet him the time you couldn't go with us when your back was out. Remember when we went to see Mark Lowry? We left you on the couch and went to see him? Yeah. <laughs> I think I did get to talk to him. Oh, a child is born. Thank you, Tam. This set's called A Child is Born. I couldn't remember. I love this so much it it is just beautiful i love it love it love it so thank you so much beautiful card we got from holly Timothy, did you see holly's card vince wants to make sure you got to see it he doesn't want you to miss that <laughs> so georgia thank you so much thank you so so much i'm excited to show y'all this one i think you're gonna like this so this card is from let me see if her first name's in here i just have her last name on there Diana Weaver, okay? She missed it. You need to show it one more time. <laughs> I got to show Tamitha this card real quick. I moved it to the side. Which side did I move it to? Did I hand it to you? Here it is. I put it somewhere. All right, Tamitha. I'm sorry. Vince made me do this. Holly made this card, and, and it's just for you. <laughs> oh, my gosh. Do you see this, Tamitha? Oh, we showed this earlier. I'm sorry. Vince made me do it. He did. <laughs> Tabitha said, what? <laughs> At least she's a Kentucky basketball fan, so she only wants to do the poop emoji on Tennessee basketball. But she knows that I want to do it to Tennessee football, so she's pretty happy for me. Too funny. Hey, y'all, I think she did this with that, um, do y'all know that, that new thing from, who makes it? Why would I try? Pen, Pentail? Uh. What's the new printer? The printer that prints out washi tape for us? Anyway, I think that's what it is. I could be wrong. It could just be some washi tape that says let it snow. And this is Fancy Flurry. She used the Fancy Flurry stamp set in the background. Matter of fact, Vince, is one of these your snowflake? I bet it is. I doubt it. I want to tell you what I'm she did that with P-Touch. Thank you, Barbara. Gosh, P-Touch. Here, listen to what it says. It says, Merry Christmas, May May and Vinny. Thank you for your um, scaring, sharing your skills and laughter and ornament for you here. Untie the bow, remove the snowflake, and retie the card. This is what I love. Watch this. We're going to untie the bow. She's got the, the little twines wrapped into the snowflake. Okay. Untie the bow. It's a little elastic, so it might take me a second because it's elastic string, which means it's going to be in there pretty tight. And I have no nails. We're getting there. Okay. So we untie it. Oh, not quite there. One more little spot here. There we go. Got it. I got it. I got it. Okay. Remove this. Right? So there's an ornament and a charm. But you could probably put the charm back on the card. And then tie the bow back and your card is not ruined. And you sent a little snowflake ornament. And she made that snowflake. Hold on. I'm going to tie this back. Because I think the charm will be cute on here. I could tie the charm to the ornament too, but I got to show you the ornament. Oh, terrible bow tying skills. Okay, we'll move that out of the way. But this is a doily that's stiffened and it's glittery and she made that for the tree. Isn't that cute? I love this so much. Thank you so much. I love it. Y'all, we had a really, really good stuff today. I'm not through yet. I'm not through. <laughs> 
Who can't you hear, Tamitha? Christina keeps saying roll tide, and Tamitha acts like she can't hear it. Uh-oh. This is cool. Don't forget to... Oh, look at this. This is from the eclipse. So, um, the card, the envelope, this came in. Oh, I can show you. Yeah, I can do it this way. Okay. So, did anybody see? I got to stop touching it. Hold on. That's not going to help. <laughs> Hold on a second. What are you trying to did anybody to see? see these stamps, the eclipse stamps? So, you see that it's black like this. And when you put your thumb over it or you touch it in any way, and you don't have to do it for very long, watch this. It changes like the, the dark goes away and you see the moon. It's really cool. So she made me this and it says, May May and team, I pray the Lord bless you with a beautiful sky during the eclipse. And he did. It was so beautiful. We could not see the eclipse at all. <laughs> we were fine, right? And it says, Total Eclipse, August 21st, 2017. Don't forget to save the stamp. And that's what she was talking about, the stamp. That's so cool. I love that one. Thank you so much. Adorable. Okay. Here's another one. You guys sent so much stuff this week. Uh-oh. Oh, no. This is payback for what you just did to Tamitha. It's all right. You're so going to get I've it. I've already seen it. When did you see it? When it came in. Oh, you're going to be so mad. Somebody trying to put that FSU crap in here. <laughs> Sent me an apron card. Look at this card, Tamitha. This is payback. It's not payback. It says, for a successful 2017 NCAA basketball season, become a Knowles fan. Oh, that's basketball season. That's the recipe. Football season. Oh, you said basketball. Did I? For oh. a successful 2017 NCAA football. Yeah, we'll see Saturday. Become a Knowles fan. Love Melody Grain. Is it Gingler? I never say it right. Oh, my gosh. What does this one say? Oh, and it's little FSU football. You yeah. guys are so funny. It's a cute card, that's for sure. It is cute. It says, love watching your shows and enjoy having you a part of the lives. Felt the need to make sure you were properly prepared for the upcoming football season thanks to you and Mamo for keeping god first melody and vince oh her husband's name's vince How that's sweet. cool that's adorable melody i think it is obviously Paul they have some twisted opinions on things but <laughs> do you know that i just realized that was a hat are you serious did you already realize it yeah i did i thought it was a flame or something <laughs> you want to put it on your head no now i know now i get it you guys are so funny. I love it. I can't wait to hang that one up. Vince is going to have to look at it all the time. We're not done, y'all. We got this big O box. What's in this big O box? I haven't looked, so I don't know. Let me see who this is from. Let me see. Let me see. This is from Wendy Hill. And there's some pretty tissue papers. I feel like something's in it. It is. I don't want to mess nothing up. Oh, am I too close? Hold on. Oh, sorry, y'all. I was pretty zoomed in. Oh, look at this. Oh, my goodness. Hold on a second. <gasps> look at this. Merry Christmas, Meme. Wendy Hill, a.k.a. Mama. Some of my best friends are flakes. Look at that tag. I love it. Look at her card. Oh, my goodness. The way this is wrapped. Is this tight? No, it slides off. A little belly band. Oh, and it's elastic. That is awesome. And then look at her little envelope. Come out, little card. You are really in there. Are we stuck? Hold on. Why can't I get you out? There we go. Okay. Slid that out. Look at the inside. How cool is that? I love that. And then it says, bloom where you're planted. It says, small blessings from Wendy Hill, a.k.a. Mama Hill. Very cute. Here's a letter. Let's see what the letter says because there's stuff in this box. Mm, let's see. I want to see what I can share. I'm sending you a few mustard seeds that are given out with his testimony. This is her family's testimony. He gives these out. And let me do that because I don't, I don't know what all I can share. Look at these. Oh, my goodness. I love these so much. Do you see what that is? That is so cool. And it looks like she stamps them. Maybe she makes them. I don't know. Maybe they buy the mustard seeds like this. This is so cute. I have to read the letter, but that is so cool. And let me see what this stuff in the box is. Let's see what it says. Um, and some of the Christmas ornaments, toys that I make for others. Feel free to share or give away. The icicles are made from paper towels. The red, white, and blue stars are cereal boxes. 
and the cross as well. The snowflakes are clothespins. The metal stars are springs. The snowmen are for my daughter's scrapbook. No, scrap porch rails I recycled. The no okay, we'll just have to see it when we get there. All right, let's see what this is. And I'll read and see what it is if we don't, if we can't make it out. All right, so these are scrap cereal boxes. Look at these. Goodness. Those are beautiful. She heat embosses those too. They're gorgeous. Oh my gosh. I want to put these on my tree. Give these away. She handmade them. It's in everything. <gasps> Look at that. That is so cute. It's wood and it's painted. That is adorable. Am I being selfish if I keep them off of my tree? You think I am? Oh my goodness. Look at that. These are heat embossed. She's she's stamping and heat embossing those on little wood pieces. Now let me get this out of here real quick. Oh my goodness. Look at this angel. Now what'd she say she made this from? angels the angels does it say did i get to the angels wait a minute this isn't this isn't it is an angel i don't know what that one's made of look at this she said this was recycled from the porch rails of her daughter's home that's adorable and then <laughs> damn what they call dibs on that angel look at this snowman from the same porch rails so cute my goodness, she really loaded us up. What is this? Oh, more tags. I love tags. Oh, we can use these for Christmas. Look at this. I love them. So cool. And then, what is in here? There's so much stuff. Oh, my gosh, you guys. These are so beautiful. I want to go buy some of these little wooden things and do this myself. This is precious. These are really cute. And what a way to showcase your stamps. Isn't that cool? I love these. They look very um, folk art, very like Cracker Barrel, don't they? These are so cool. The angel is paper towels. Is that what she said? Did I read that? Is that her talking to me? <laughs> that was Charlotte. Oh, okay. Let me get these out of here. Look at this, y'all. Just stunning. And I can tell that these are heat embossed on there. That's just, that is so smart to do that. They look store-bought. They do not look handmade. They look amazing. Look at this. So stinking cute. We're going to have a whole folk art tree with all of these goodies. Let's see what this is. Oh, my goodness. Look at this candy cane. Love it. What else is in here? Oh, look. Oh, okay. So this is the clothespins. That is beautiful. But look at this. She made this with a match. No, what is this called? Clothespin pins. Springs. Springs. That is adorable. What a great way to make a star. And then there's more, y'all. My goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my, oh my goodness. Oh, I love these. We did one of these on our channel, but I didn't make them this cute. <laughs> Mine are very simple. I like how she decorated hers. That is so cute. And what else? Oh, look at this. It's a wand. Do I just use this to get snow? If I just do this while I get snow, just like ding snow. Um, I could use it to. They're not wands. Maybe they're disappear. Snow. They're not wands. They're icicles. They're icicles. <laughs> you, you did really good. I want it to be a wand to bring snow around, but they're icicles. That's cute. It. What is that made of? Is that ribbon? That is interesting. And then, one more, I think. One more. No, look at this one. You guys already saw it in the box, didn't you? Oh, my goodness. These are so cute. Oh, my gosh. Okay. One more. I'm going to move the box so I can see what this one is. Drop the box down there. All right. My word. These are stunning. Look at these. She is very good. I hope she has a store. She should be selling these things somewhere because I know people would love to have these if they don't know how to, you know, craft and make this stuff. This is beautiful. Does this not look like Cracker Barrel on my desk? Seriously? Wow, it's incredible. I'm gonna need that box back to put all this in it. Cause I have my desk. This is amazing. So Wendy, Mama, you did awesome. I'm reading what you've written, what the rest you've written here. She says, I have no Facebook, no idea what Instagram is. And what I do know is that you not only inspire me to create, but to create for, for my creator. Oh, that 
that's amazing. I Very just cool. love this. She is one, one talented lady, and I feel like I would like to go to her craft room. Does anybody else want to see what her craft room looks like? Because I bet it's amazing. This is so cute. She does a little bit of everything, doesn't she? This is painting. There's paper crafting. Look, these are made from cereal boxes and then painted and crackled. So, I mean, this is a little bit of everything. Stamping. You guys, this is a great... This is a great testament to what we can do with all of the stuff we have. Just amazing. We always think we can only stamp or we can only emboss or we can only do fabric or we can only do, you know, paper, but that's not true. This is amazing. I would like to see her tree too. I bet it's amazing. Amazing. How many times can I say amazing? Somebody, <laughs> I had a comment. Say it one more time just for good measure. It's the crafter after show, so I can say this stuff. I had a comment on my video that I woke up to this morning that said, cute project but too super cute and super easy and too super fun to me it's just super annoying <laughs> how thoughtful of that person that's just such kindness i'm gonna say it because she wrote it on my channel so all of you can read it but it was so funny i was like i said i'm so sorry that i'm super annoying <laughs> uh people just don't realize they're really talking to real people they think they're just saying stuff in the abyss of nothingness but you're really talking to somebody so i woke up this morning to you're super annoying <laughs> Nothing no better. It's just, people just don't know. She would never say that to my face. I mean, she might, but I doubt it. All right. Last part. <laughs> I'm going to show you what's new in the store. I'm going to try to go super fast. I know this can bore folks, and you may have some questions or whatever. So, all right. These guys. I showed these on Facebook. This one's packaged upside down. I don't know why. But these are 10 sheets, 100, 100 pound pre-scored A2 cards. This is black and this is metallic. And the reason we got these in is because it's it's been weird how they've been discontinuing this stuff. And um, we just decided to grab these up while we, while we could get them. I don't know how long they'll last, but if you guys want some nice card bases, 100 pound card bases, we got those in the store. Not a whole lot. We got what we could get. We also have now the parchment card and envelope kit. You guys loved the white and black one. You guys bought those out. And this is the um, parchment version. And I think we also got the black and the natural back in. I believe so. Yeah, yeah I think so too. So we got these. Um, we got more of the Nouveau um, glitter accents. This one is called Snowfall. Fresh yep. Snowfall. We got this one in. I love it. You guys are so awesome. Thank you for making me feel better. I, I promise I didn't let it get to me. It was just like I know people don't know that they're really talking to a person who's really going to read stuff. You know, they just don't know. And then we got Vinny went shopping. I love when Vinny goes shopping because he's going to buy embossing folders because he loves them, right? Look at this gorgeousness. Do you, I got to bring this up so you can see what this looks like. Can you imagine doing this with that card that we got that had the um, the, the gold um, rub and buff on it? That would be beautiful. Or ink dragging over this. Oh, gorgeous. Look at the light bulbs. You did this after we did our um, Bible study, didn't you? Yeah. That's cool. I love this. And then I think this is my favorite right here, okay? This is beautiful. Look at this. This is adorable. Maybe she was making a joke, but I didn't read it as a joke. And I did read it two or three times because Vince tells me I have to do that. So <laughs> I don't know if telling me I'm super annoying is a joke. <laughs> I know I can be, though, by the way. I know I can be, so I apologize. It's who I am. I love this one. I think this one dragged with some orange and some brown and some green and even a burgundy. I think this would be incredible. And then he picked out the snowmans. Why don't you pick out snowmen? Because they're your favorite. They may love them. And look at the trio of snowmans. So cute. It's all right. I know I'm annoying. I, I can deal with it, right? I can deal with it. Somebody asked what we do with the parchment cards. These are card bases. So how so, do you use them? So you would build on this. It's it's basically not having to cut your own paper to get a card base. Let me pull it this comes up here. The envelopes too. Yeah, you get the base and the envelope in the kit. So it's like a set. So <laughs> Oh my gosh, you guys, I didn't mean to get you mad. I really didn't. I just thought it was funny. So you get used to it, I think, as a YouTuber. So you guys know we had the 12 by 12 pack of Hello Fall, right? And we're going to do a mini album starting next week, by the way. So grab your stuff. Everybody asked me to wait to do the mini album until we got the next order of Hello Fall in, the 12 by 12 pack. So that is in the store. I don't know how much of it's left. It came in yesterday and people were buying it like crazy. So we have the 6 I by 6 pad. It again this morning. 
We have the six by six pad and this one I may or may not use in the mini album. Eh, probably not, but, I, but I've got it if I want it. I went ahead and picked these up to put in the store for you guys because I think these will be cute in the mini album and give us some little things to put on tags and stuff like that. These are enamel and they're raised. So they're kind of puffy, the enamel dots, obviously, but these are raised. And if these are out, we're getting more back. He's ordered them, but you guys really bought them up. The thing I really wanted to tell you was this. These are the paper bags we're gonna use. I found these <clears throat> online to order and I really love them. This is their Doris bags, but they're paper crafting bags and there's 40 of them in here. And I can't remember how much they are, but you get 40. So you could easily make four or five mini albums with this. But look how good this is. Look at this paper. It's nice quality paper. And when we when I make a mini album, I always come through and flatten everything down anyway. And I just have a feeling that this is going to flatten so pretty. I'll show you up close. It really does. Look how flat that got. I really, really like these bags. So we're going to be using these. Um, and I'm going to do a traditional paper bag mini album. I mean traditional. I'm aching to make another one. I haven't made one in years that's just a real traditional dude paper bag mini album. So if you're interested, I wanted to have bags for folks because I know it's frustrating not to be able to get them. They are four and 6.25 is seven eighths. Let me just measure one. Is 6.25 seven eighths? No. What is 6.25? 25 is less than a half. Well, it's a quarter. 6.25. So each and a quarter. So when I flatten this Six out, this is eight. They say eight and a half, but that's not included in the little frilly part on the end. It's about eight and a half. And then these are these are four and seven eighths. Yeah. I thought you said six point two five. Four point six two five. Oh, I misunderstood. I four point six two five. So they're four and seven eighths. So that's really cool. And like I said, we're gonna do a traditional paper bag mini album. You don't have to use these. You can use any paper bags you've got. I just wanted to find some because I know it sounds crazy and I know you guys don't believe when I tell you this, but we have people who are in areas that can't get this product and they ask us, we get email after email for us to I get these you, in. It's hard to believe how many people can't buy paper bags. So I wanted to make sure these would be available if you wanted to be a part. So they're available in the store. And then we got in some more 12 by 12 paper, but the only one you haven't seen yet in the 12 by 12 is this one. Isn't that right? The perfect Christmas, a perfect Christmas. Yep, and I believe it sold out yesterday. <sighs> Sorry, y'all, but it's all on order again. As soon as we get it, we put it in there. What is a mini album? Well, this is not an example of what we're going to be making, but I'm going to show you an example of a mini album. Okay, this is a recipe mini album. This is one I made for you to put your recipes in, and we did this one last year. There's a video on my channel walking you through this one completely. This uses one of my stamp sets, which I can never remember the name of. Do you remember cooking. What's cooking? Maybe. Um, and this is using a paper pad we had that I don't remember the name of, but I think now it's Homemade Happiness is the new version of Happiness this. Is Happiness is homemade. But this is a mini album, but this is not what we're making. This is an envelope mini album, okay? And I have a tutorial already on my channel for this one. This one's super easy. This one's made with those, um, I'm going to undo this and show you because you won't believe it. When I show you this, you'll know. So this is made so you can add pages. That's why I can undo it and show you. Do you see what kind of envelope this is made with? Do you see it in there? I love to leave stuff like that so when I show people they go, you're kidding, that's what that's made from? Yep. So the pages are made from just those white number 10 envelopes and they're super easy. Of course, I'm not gonna be able to feed this back through. I'll have to get my threader. But this one is made so you can add pages. Again, this is not the one we're making because I've already done a video on this one. This one has a pocket for recipe cards at the top right and this one flips they all have a little flip in a pocket this is a fun one to make i enjoyed this one it was a quick one too and you didn't have to you didn't have to like do anything crazy to make this one i really like this one each one has a flip and you can put little recipes in them right all right so that's what a mini album is but the one we'll be making is for photographs where this one is for recipes uh the eight ounce art glitter glue should be back in next week because you got to remember, though, Monday's a holiday, so it'll probably be Tuesday or Wednesday. Speaking of, the store will be closed Monday. So if you need to... Um, well, the online store will be... The online Monday. one. The, the, phone, the phone number, the chat, the um, email will be closed Monday. The store is still open, but we won't be here to answer all that stuff. Uh-oh, since the 12 by 12 is sold out. 
can you use a six by six? Um, eh, probably, maybe. You'd have to cut your paper up a little bit. You'd have to be a little fancy with it. So I'm excited about the mini album because first off, it's going to be fall colors and craft color paper bags, which I love. Um, the mini album video is kind of a tricky one. And the reason it's tricky is because you guys enjoy the Thursday live shows. I don't want to stop those because I hear from everybody you want to see them. I'm doing the card series on Tuesday. So it may end up being Saturday. We may start doing those on Saturdays. And I may, oh, as much as I can't believe I'm going to say this. I may have to add another video in somewhere. Oh, good Lord. I, I, I know. I, I'm just like, because my Saturday, I have been doing cricket stuff on Saturday, but that's not a long-term thing. I'm just trying to answer some questions I get a lot because people ask me to, to show them how to do stuff on cricket, and I love to teach. So I've been doing that. This Saturday is a cricket video, and do you know you want to know why you're going to get a cricket video? Somebody's already asked, did you get Oh, some? did they? When they ask? Did you get a cricket maker? Oh, I got a maker, baby. <laughs> I'm so excited. I got to tell y'all something. I, I hate that it is $400. I'm telling you right now. It's not my machine. I did not design it. I did not set the price. I will tell you that in my opinion, take this for what it's worth. If I compare my Cricut Explorer Air to my Cricut Maker, quality-wise, I can see the difference in price. And I guarantee you, if anybody in this room has a Maker and they have an Explorer and they compare the difference, they can see the cost difference. You can see the quality. You can feel the quality that has gone into the machine and you will see why it's different. This machine is clearly made to be a workhorse machine. It is not made, um, to me, I think it would be, you could start a business on the back of this machine. I really believe it. I really believe that. And I'm not, they don't pay me. Somebody made that comment that if, if I were a spokesperson for Cricut, I would say those things too. They don't pay me. I'm not a spokesperson for Cricut. They send me a machine and they give me one to give away to you guys. That's all. Like they, I don't get their other products. Um, they did give me a coupon code for you guys when I asked to have one. I do not work for Cricut. So I'm just telling you my personal opinion. And let me say this. It is not only a fabric machine. A lot of people are saying that if you're not a sewer, you don't want it. What you're missing is it does everything your Explore Air do, did, but better because, or your Explore machine, because it presses 10 times harder and we have a knife blade coming. We're going to be able to cut things we've never been able to cut before. And as a paper crafter, chipboard, a thin wood to make covers for albums. Um, you guys that like to make wall art, th this is, it amazes me. It amazes me. And yesterday, I was able to cut one of my favorite products in the world. It's laminated printable burlap that I get from Creative Essentials. Well, I get from Walmart, but it's called, it's made by Creative Essentials. And I tried to cut it in my Explore before, and the blade, because it's a because it's a razor blade that runs, would grab on the burlap, but the rotary blade rolled right over it and cut it like butter. I'm not making this up. If I brought Amanda in here, Amanda's on. Amanda, did it not cut like butter? It was amazing. Um, the fabric, I tried three different fabrics. You're going to see the video. I cut three different fabrics, actually four. I cut burlap, leather, cotton, and, and a light denim canvas. Um... And it doesn't just do, I mean, I'm just telling you, just, I'm happy about it. I saw somebody ask about a giveaway. Yes. Yes. The giveaway information will go up Sunday. It will go up Sunday and you will see that, uh, not Sunday, Saturday, I'm sorry, Saturday at noon, this video will go up and I will have the giveaway information there and anybody can win. All you have to do is enter your, you just put your email in and there's a, usually a question to answer. Um, so that's it. That's all you have to do. Margie wants to know, does it score good? You know what, Margie? I've not tried scoring, but my plan is to try it on copper again because the Explore that I scored on did perfect. The Explore Air 2, people told me, wouldn't work as well with the scoreboard. I never tried it. But I'm going to try the scoring tool on um, the Maker and see what happens. I'm going to try it and see. Because I'm, I'm, I'm overly impressed with the machine. And I'm going to tell you something else, which... 
I let me tell you how honest I'm gonna talk to you. When the Easy Press came out, I went, eh. I was like, okay, it's cool. What does it do? I watched it. I paid attention to it. I was like, oh, I love that look. And I was like, do you like it? I watched it, blah, blah. Amanda and I talked about it. I said, Amanda, here's the thing. It's a nine by nine surface. I think we'll just get us a heat press and not do that. Because we have to replace ours. Ours is old as the heels. You know this. Ours yes. is bad. And I was like, we have to replace it, blah, blah. So when it all dropped on the first night, I think it was the 21st, when it all dropped to be purchased, I was like, I'm going to buy an easy press. I got it fairly affordable. I mean, I thought I did. Um, I went ahead and ordered it, and it came in. And it sat in the box for a couple of days. I was like, I'm not super excited. I'm glad I got it, whatever. I brought it to work, and we opened it and looked at it. And then I was like, let me just see what it does. So when I did the video Saturday, I, I mean, for Saturday, I used it to make my little banner. And I got to be honest, that 9x9 nine nine surface is probably going to cover most things I heat press. I was surprised about that. And it did really good, and it's digital, and it's t it got a timer, and you know, it's one of those things. I like to buy things, and when I can afford to buy them, I'm going to buy them. Now, full disclosure, I bought the Easy Press, and then two days later, Cricut sent me one. <laughs> so, that's a good thing, though, because we're going to use them in classes, because we, we normally have to tote a big old heat press around, so we're going to take these to classes to use, and um, also we discovered that if you have hand dexterity issues or if you don't have very much strength, a heat press takes some push to close it and lock it into place. And like my dad, for example, has rheumatoid arthritis and he loves to do things with the heat press and he can't, he can't always lock it down unless he leans on it. And that always scares me that it's going to fall over to the hot part of it. So this, he's going to love. Christina, come by and use the easy press. Seriously. Listen, if y'all want to come use the maker, come out. I don't care. Come use it. Try it. It You will love it. It's here at the shop. You're welcome to come try it out. If you want to come try it before you buy it and you live in my area, come to the shop and try it. 100% come try it. You won't be disappointed. I don't think so. You can come try my Airs, my Explorers, whatever. You can try my Scanning Cut. If you live in the area and you want to come see if it works, we'll set it up and let you try it. Just let us know you're coming so we make sure that we're here and ready for you. But we'll put you in the, in the we call it the Bible study room because that's where mom teaches her Bible study. Come in try them out. I'm fine with that. We love for you guys to do that. <laughs> Charmaine's trying to get her hubby to buy a ticket to come to Alabama to use your maker. It's perfect. Just let us know. We're going to have people lined up. Can I come use the maker? Hey, just yep. jump in the truck. Come on. It's a short drive. Come use it. Uh, you Now look, Amanda's daughter-in-law Lacey is here. and She's doing. She's the one doing the um, incentive stamp sets for us, mailing those out for everybody. And she's been wanting one and I keep showing her what it does and I'm like, I hate to say it, but I hate to say it, but I keep saying it. So Connie's coming and going to stay a while. <laughs> there ain't much to do here, Connie. <laughs> you can go see some Alabama football, Connie. It's about all you can do. <laughs> I'll get, you, I'll get your heart pumping, right? You can use the maker on paper. The maker does everything our air did. I mean, our explorers did. It does all of that plus some. Like, it's just a, it's just, it has... It comes with the same blade you get with your... I think this is where some confusion is. It doesn't just come with the rotary blade. It comes with a regular blade plus the rotary blade. You get both of those. So you can do paper. Um, it does everything plus more, right? That's what Amanda and I were talking about last night. It's like some people just have a misconception that it's only for fabric or for the rotary blade, but it's not. It does all of it. So... Lisa, we uh, are... Come down. Um, Tracy, come down. Try it out. I would love it. Y'all can come try any of my tools. You'd be surprised. When people shop here and they go, man, man, I've never used a cuddle bug. Well, guess what I'm going to do? I'm going to go pull it out, and we're going to try it. We're going to see if you like it. So, uh, she has to stay a ball fan. Even That's if all right. I'll, I'll let you. i got to let Tammy stay that way, too. Lisa asked, how far are we from Oxford in Anniston, Alabama? We are probably, depending on how you come. Um, an hour? Um, yeah, about that. About an hour, maybe? If you... If you come back roads, probably an hour, an hour and 15, 20 minutes. If you go the interstate, probably about the same because it'll take you 40 minutes or so to get to Birmingham on 20 and then 40 minutes to get south to us. Somebody asked if you use the, the Easy Press on paper. I don't see why you couldn't. If you can use an iron on paper, you should be able to use this on paper because you can adjust the temperature where you want it. And the thing about it is, I really wasn't, I was on the fence about this thing, I'm telling you, until I used it. And then I'm like, dang, 
the plate does heat up evenly and it does I have an iron. I use my iron most of the time for heat pressing. I, I love my heat press machine, but it's so big and bulky and takes forever to heat up and it's a dinosaur. I literally want to put like vinyl on the side that looks like a dinosaur mouth closing up and down because it's so bad. But it really does work really well. Somebody else had an easy press question and I missed it. Ask it again. Somebody asked if they could see our face. I don't have a problem with you seeing my face. The problem is we have to reset all the cameras and that's the problem. Like, to be able to do that, we need to figure out how to do that. Because I know it gets boring just looking at my hand going, no, 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 no. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I went two and a half hours. Oh, Missy. Thank you. It was worth it. Yep. Cruise around the corner. Cruise around the corner. <laughs> About two more weeks. Two and a half. Amanda and I have been in cruise meeting all morning. We have been cruise, cruise, cruise. By the way, if you guys are going on the cruise hand dancing, if you guys are going on the cruise at 2.45 today on the private cruise Facebook group, we're giving some announcements about the cruise and things that we're going to be doing while we're there. Um, so, so be sure to be there to catch out what's going. Where's the cruise going to? I might stay out of the Caribbean right now. Um, it goes to, to the Caribbean. To the Caribbean. <laughs> yeah, we're hoping them storms get out of there before we get in there. They're going to get gone. If they don't, you know what? God has a plan for us. It's like Thomas says. Somebody said something about flying. He said, if God's going to take me, he's going to take me on the ground or in the air. It's up to him, right? <laughs> so, um, Charlotte always stops by. Yes, she does. Anytime she's headed south on 65, she takes a little swing by and comes to see us. I need a sock bucket. <laughs> I could make one with the maker. Y'all better be careful because I'll have one in here. Ding, 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 ding. <laughs> We're going to get stuck out at sea. Hmm, could be worse things than stuck on a cruise boat. <laughs> mm. Could be worse things. Let's hope not. You guys be praying that everything will be good. Send up a quick prayer. You know, I hate for the man that made it cruise to be <laughs> destined to Hurricaneville. The best vinyl for cricket machines, honestly, Nancy, I don't really think the vinyl for the machine is as important as the vinyl for your project. Any vinyl is going to cut in the cricket, even if you have to like adjust your your um the pressure and stuff like that. So that to me is not where I would pick my vinyl. I'd pick it for my project. So that's where it comes in more important. I think that's, a, that was a, an interesting question because I know a lot of people think that certain vinyls work, but no, I would pick what goes on my machine. Hope you do the cruise next year. I think we probably will do the cruise next year. I think. I think it might have to be an annual it's, thing. It's been easy to put together. Now we may say something different when we get back. <laughs> When I get back to shore, they're going to say, May May made it. Yay! Yep. Made it made off the it. boat. We're going to do our best. We're going to get the internet package so we can be online. We're going to try to... I don't know what we can do from out there. It, I feel like when we were in Nassau before, we could get some internet and we could get some data. But I don't remember for sure. But we're going to try to get to share stuff with you guys. If not, you'll get to see pictures when we come back. Um, I know that's supposed to say Nyoka, but Naomi is an interesting name. You can use vinyl in your die cutting machines. The only kicker to that is most heat transfer vinyl um, has to be, ha comes with a um, transfer sheet and sticky back needs transfer. So it's a little, it's a little bit um, hairy, but you can do it. You can do it. I think I saw a video. Somebody did a video about that. All right. I think we're winding down. I've got to get ready for the 245 thing. Can you cut chipboard? You can cut chipboard in your Cricut machine. I have a video doing that. It's um when the Explore Air 2 came out, I did a video with that showing how deep you can go with that. I want to cruise. When I cruise, I want to have a week with Maymay without distraction. Ah, you can't be with me without distraction. <laughs> Everybody says, even Amanda says it. Like today we were working, she said, here's what Amy does. Here's what Maymay does. She has all these, like, my hands are stretched out like this. Like, she has all these ideas like this. And she has to go, she has to funnel them, funnel them, funnel them until she gets the one. And that's the one we go with. It's funny. There's no, dis there's always distraction around May May. <laughs> Vinny, try it. What'd that say? Will Vinny try recipes we send in? I want him to try true Puerto Rican food. He will do that. And by the way, Amanda and Naoka both back to back said she is a distraction. Well, there you go. <laughs> What was that question? Um, I, may, I have a question. Can you speak? Did they say Africans? I think. <laughs> uh, no, I only speak English. Actually, let me tell you what I speak. I speak English, P, 
pig not Latin. Very well. I speak pig Latin fluently. I speak I speak Southern Alabama. I, I speak Central Alabama explicitly. I do it very well, and I speak some Spanish. Only the stuff that I need to say, like guacamole. <laughs> Not right. Burrito, taco, quesadilla, queso, guacamole. I only have to say guacamole. That's my favorite. Guacamole. <laughs> what else do I speak? I think I now have another language. Pig Latin. There's another language that I speak. I've said it before. I don't know. I don't, but there is one. But you were really way out there, so I'm going to sign us off. I don't speak Taco Bell very much. <laughs> What's that Alabama song says, I speak my soul? Oh, words. Amanda, I speak sarcasm. Yes. I'm natural as I please. I'm in the heart of Dixie. Dixie's in the heart of me. Oh, you can't. You can't. Come on now. When I first start, I speak crafting. I speak Jesus. Amen, sister. That's awesome. Speak life, right? Speak life. Um, When we first started doing YouTube, I was always like trying to hide my accent. Now I just don't even try. I can't. Oh, it's, no, it's pointless. It's, too, it's no use in it. No use. All right. We love you guys. Send Vinny in a recipe. He'll try it. Yep. Now, we're going to do something really interesting this we week. We went in. Charmaine would be proud of us. We went in an Indian food store the other day. And bought a bottle of water. And walked out. That's all we can. We didn't know bottle. nothing else we were looking at. <laughs> the Indian food store is right next to Hobby Lobby. And we were so thirsty. We had been shopping. And I said, Vince, do you think they have a bottle of water? And he's like, I don't know. So he went in. And the Indian spices, when you walked in, those spices are familiar. Like, you know what they are. But we kind of looked around and we're like, I don't have a clue what anything is in here. Except for I saw dairy milk chocolate, Cadbury dairy milk, which is sold in the UK. And that stuff's amazing. <gasps> Loyalty points. Jamie, thank you. <laughs> I know it's not pronounced guacamole. <laughs> Sorry, it's quiet. Our preacher <laughs> is crazy. And he said, I don't like that guacamole. <laughs> and so when he, he said me. that, it was on for May May. It's guacamole from that day forward. I told him, I said, I will call it guacamole till the day I die now. It is. And I love guacamole. So, all right. Loyalty points. Here's the deal. Talk about distraction. I'm going to look away from the screen. When you spend any, actually you don't have to spend money. In our store, we have this thing called loyalty points. And you can earn them by doing different things like sharing us on social medias, purchasing from us. Every dollar you spend, you earn one point. As you earn the points, they, they add up and you get to use them for coupons, for dollars off of your orders. The way to see the information about it is to go to maymaymadeit.com in the bottom left hand of the screen down here, like right in this area, there'll be a thing that says loyalty program. Click on loyalty program. If you're already signed up and you're already a member, you'll be able to look at how many points you've got, what's available to spend, etc. If you're not, you can see what you need to do to uh, make your or to earn points. Okay, so that's how it works. Grizel is hoarding her points. Um, I signed up for the Stamp Club Excited. Yay! Um, thanks, Tamitha. Don't forget about the chat. We have chat on there. Let me show you how the chat works. So imagine this is our page. Right over here in this corner is a little thing that says, we're live. You can chat with us. So you can chat right down here. To redeem the points, here's what you do. You, If you have, say you've earned, I don't know how many points it is. I don't remember. But if you had any points that you could spend... You would spend the points on whatever coupon, and when you do, you'll get emailed a code. That code starts with VIP. It says VIP dash something. You have to copy that entire code, VIP, all the way through the end. And then when you go to purchase on the last page, imagine this is your page. Up here in the top corner, it'll say discount or code or things like that. Put it right there and enter it, and that's how it'll come off. But you'll be emailed it. Yep, stamp clubs, the regular club ships on the 6th of the month unless the 6th falls on Sunday. That's right. 100 Lord's Most Oh, okay, got you. But listen, you can earn a $5 coupon without spending a dime. There's all these ways on there. You can share it, you can start an account, you can put your birthday in. You get, there's all these ways to earn $5 off just by setting yourself up. You do have to establish a free account on our store if you don't have an account it can't keep up with it okay i know every time we get papers they sell out every time i mean and it just came back in we just put it back in the store yesterday afternoon and the worst part because i know people think we just don't order enough let me tell you how this works 
Vince will order 100, 200, whatever packs of these papers. And they'll you send me 12 And they 13. send them what they've got, and we have to wait for the back order. So most of our papers are on back order, and we get... We get banks of it as it comes in. So it's not that it's not ordered, and we never know exactly when it's coming in. But when it comes in, we throw it in there as fast as we can. <gasps> did I? Oh, no, that's just an envelope. I thought but it was I did come. place another big order this morning uh, that should be in, I would think, no later than the middle of next week with Labor Day holiday in there. With some new product coming. Oh, Lord, yeah. I'm just going to say punches. If we sign up today for the Stamp Club, will we get the September stamp? If you sign up today for the... Yeah. Scripture Club, yes. No. Yes. For the regular club. Both please. clubs. Yeah. You could sign up today and get either one of them. Sure could. But don't wait. Sign up. If you're going to do it, you need to sign up early because sometimes the processing will roll over till the next night, next day. So if you're going to sign up, go on and do it now. Amanda said, today, yes. Tomorrow, no. That's right. All right. We're going to go. Got a bunch to do. I love you guys. I hope you enjoyed today's video. Watch for Saturday so you can win you a Cricut Maker. You want to get in on that? And is that it? One question was asked by Myrna. So if someone does not have a cricket, would the cricket maker do everything one needs? Yes. Her question to me is this. If you were buying a machine today, which one would you be buying? And I would be buying the maker. I would not buy anything lower than that if I was buying a machine today, if I could afford it. From cricket. At this point, I don't know a machine that I would buy over this maker. I got you. Now, listen, y'all heard me say otherwise before, but at this point, the maker's the machine. At this point. Not the scanning cup. Remember, they're apples and oranges. Let's don't get on that. Okay. <laughs> uh, is that, I don't know if I'm saying this right. Adra, it is expensive to ship paper internationally. But you can see, um, before you check out, what the cost is. So, if you change your mind, you can back out, you know. I'm trying subliminally. I'm going to see what happens. Thumbs up. No, it was subliminal. Yeah, I don't have time to wait. I'm going to start sitting here like this. Like, whenever, when we're talking, I'm just going to do this and see if it works. to hitchhike. Bye, Yens. See you guys. We love you. <laughs> love have you a guys. Great day. Talk to you soon. Bye.